everyone. This is Sherry. How you doing today? Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me. I'm super excited because I went on a shopping spree at Enmeads. <laughs> so this is a uh, website where you can get your craft items. They have a lot of different things. I would say um, check it out because you get tons for your money, right? Tons. <laughs> I was like, I couldn't believe it. Yeah, they asked me to do, um, you know, demonstrate some of their products. And it's called in, like in Nancy, in beads, like in, you know, B-E-A-D-S. So in beads.com. I'll have all my products listed under this video in the description box. And uh, I will have a coupon for you of $3 off $24. So, uh, and I got everything really quick too. So it all came in a bubble, you know, nicely wrapped bubble envelope. And this is uh, what was in there, the Ziploc bag, also protecting everything. So let's see what I got. I had some fun, let me tell you. <laughs> Look at all this stuff that I got. I had in mind, when I was picking out the items, I had in mind, I'm trying to learn how to make jewelry, okay? So I made successfully some earrings, but the bracelets I made, I made two bracelets. And uh, I thought they were, they looked beautiful and I thought they were great. And then I tried to stretch them and my, apparently my stretchy cord was too thin and they both broke and beads went everywhere. So uh, with that in mind, I tried to order uh, some, I think I have it in here, some cording that would help me to make stronger uh, jewelry and bracelets. So, and maybe some necklaces, but let me show you what I got. Okay, let's get started. So. As you can see, there is a bunch of stuff here, and I'm going to try to uh, do this in some kind of orderly fashion here. So let's pick out things, and I'll show you what I got. So with the things I t just mentioned in mind, and I'm going to try to open these up and show you, uh, you know, so you can see, you don't have to look through the plastic, but this is a little Ziploc bag here. I want to open it in the right way. Okay, it looks like you open right here. Yes, very nice, that little Ziploc bag to keep these in. And these are bronze eye pins. And I have a little, so I don't have to hold it in my hand. I have a little plate here, so I can put it on there and maybe you can see better than me like just trying to hold it in my hand. So these are little eye pins, aren't they cute? And <laughs> they're bronze. And you know, the eye is, uh, there's head pins and eye pins. These are the eye pins are the ones with the little loop on the bottom, so. That is the bronze eye pins, and there is 200 in here, 200 in this little bag. So I got those. Um, I use those in uh, making my tassels and, and in making jewelry. I use them in making my successful earrings I spoke of. <laughs> so these will come in very handy. And next, let me show you, let's see what I got. What did I get here? Let me see if I can find. Oh, aren't these cute? Yeah, this is the next thing. These are adorable. <laughs> They're called tassel pendants. So, you know, pendant is something you hang from something, right? Like a necklace or something. Of course, I'm not going to hang it from a necklace. Let me put them in here. I'm not going to hang it from a necklace. I'm going to hang it from a tag. Or I also had tags in mind and ephemera and things like that. So look at these cute little... They're like glittery and blingy and little different colors. Silver, bronze. I say bronze, brass, and gold. But they're little, cute little, adorable pendants. <laughs> and there is 10 of them in here in this little bag. So aren't those, and won't those be fun to hang from something? I mean, we make all these little charms and, you know, bead dangles and things in our junk journal world and our paper crafting world. And I think those would be adorable to hang from something, right? They're so cute. And who wants to make some little tiny tassel like that, right? <laughs> so those are ready to go. Let's see, uh, what is next? We've got, I got two different kinds of bronze lobster. Or <clears throat> I should say two different sizes because I, you know, I have some that I've been working with and I actually, all the ones, what is that? I wanna make sure it's nothing. I, oh, it's just a little nothing. Okay, yeah, um, all the, pretty much all of the lobster claw clasps I have now, which I've used a lot of them and I, I almost have used them up. I received in Happy Mail. <clears throat> so when I was making this order, I was thinking, oh, I'm almost out of 
lobster claw class. Let me see what they have. And I have enjoyed in the in the ones I received in Happy Mail using these bigger ones like this. Yeah, very nice bronze. And I didn't. Well, I had some bronze and some silver colored. So these are the larger uh, bronze uh, lobster claw clasps. And then these are the smaller ones. So, and I've used small, large on uh, tassels. And of course, you can use these on jewelry too for making your bracelets or your necklaces. So let me show you these. These are about this size. Aren't they cute? I love them. So uh, those are 10, I believe 10. This one is 10, it looks like. This one might be more, that might be 20. I don't see the, yeah, okay. No, I don't see that one. Right now, I'll tell you, I mean, I have a little list I'm looking at of what I got. So <laughs> I think that's the 10 pieces in this one, does it say? Uh, 20 piece, yeah, this is the 20 piece. And I'll have all the product numbers and everything listed under this video. So we don't have to mess with that right now, but that's the two different lobster claw clasps. Then I re picked out uh, some chain. So let me see, where's the chain? Is it chain? Let me see. Chain extender. Okay, that's what it, chain extenders. Okay, so I just saw them, let's see. Sorry, okay, I have a lot of stuff here as you can see. It's a lot of fun stuff. Okay, these are, these are bead caps. Oh, what is this? Okay, that's my wire. Uh, chain extenders, are these them? Nope. <laughs> I can't find the chain extenders right now. Oh, here they are, right in front of me. They were the closest thing to me. So chain extenders. These are bronze chain, chain extenders. And there's 200 in here. And what they are is the little, I discovered these. I mean, of course you've seen them on your jewelry, right? You've seen them on your jewelry. And I had also received some broken jewelry in, uh, in Happy Mail. So I've been using them to make bead dangles and things like that. And on a couple of them, there were the little, there were these little, they weren't like this. They were the little flat one, but they were, um, these little, um, you know, things that hang kind of like a little tag to hang off that where your, your bracelet or your necklace clasped together. Okay. So that's what these are. They're tiny, but I thought these would be fun to have this little detail hanging off of like a tag, an extra little piece to hang on your, you know, when you put a little bulb pin on the top of your tag, maybe, or on the top of something. And then you have this extra little piece hanging it's just so it's just an extra little detail that I thought would be just fun and add just something special you know to my crafts so that is where I got those because I, I enjoyed that little detail of using <clears throat> from using broken jewelry and I just thought that would be fun to use these too and there are 200 in here if I didn't say that already you can see there is a ton <laughs> there's a ton in there so uh, let's see next is Oh, I've got some cute little, look at these. These are girl, they're called, um, on the website, they're called like something like bronze girl pendants. So let me show you what these are. There's 20 in here, so I've got plenty to work with. I can make earrings out of these or, again, hang them on the top of a, with a bull pin or something, whatever I'm, you know, using uh, on a tag, whatever. These little pendants, and let me show you less because, uh, and you can see what it looks like. <clears throat> Just a little girl. It's a little girl with a bonnet on, bronze colored. Isn't she cute? Can you see her? <laughs> She's small. This is um, about, a, oh, probably about an inch long, including a little loop there. But it's a little pendant, you know, it has a little loop to hang it from. Plenty big enough to um, put that on with something else, maybe one of those chain extenders, and hang it on the top of a tag. Wouldn't that be cute? or whatever, just a little charm to hang by itself or with that little chain extender as a little, you know, added to this tab of a, on a journal page, you know? Just cute stuff like that is what I wanna do with these. So those are the girl pendants. Next, um, I got two, I think I got two different kinds of cord here. 
So I've got an elastic cord right here. This is just your regular, <clears throat> uh, sorry, <laughs> elastic cord. That is, um, this is 11.48 yards. I don't think I need to take it all out, but you know what elastic, stretchy elastic cord it looks like. Well, I guess I will take it out. And so 11.48 yards, plenty of, and it's plenty stretchy. These are always plenty stretchy, right? The thing is the strength. And I, so I got a little bit, you know, I told, told you about my bracelet set broke. I just bought, I, I'm just learning. So I didn't know what, what uh, millimeter to buy. And I watched a video of someone making bracelets and they used this 0. 0.6 millimeters. And I believe it probably will say it right here. Yes. 0.6 millimeters of stretchy cord, this just clear elastic. So I got some of that. So we'll see how that goes with making bracelets and <laughs> see if that, um, you know, the idea is, uh, see when I stretched it out, I was like going like this to and what, going to put it on my arm and I stretched it and it just broke. But I had a smaller, that I had bought at Walmart, a smaller cord. So we'll see if this one works. I mean, it will work. It's just that, you know, when you stretch it, it has to be strong to uh, last through all the stretching, right? So the next thing I got is um, some really pretty uh, beads. Let's see. Uh, this is uh, 14 piece ones. This is 14 pieces. These are jelly acrylic beads, flower beads. So these I had in mind to use for the tassels. When I put beads, you know, on the top of tassels, I thought wouldn't these be pretty? Uh, let me see what they look like. You know, I've only seen them on the website. I haven't used these before. So yeah, they're little flower, acrylic flowers. And they have a little hole right here. That's what I wanted. See, I wanted the hole to go this way so that when I put it on the top of a tassel, it will be upright like that, you know, instead of like this, you know, so that so the, I didn't want the hole through the middle is my point. And that's, this is exactly what I wanted. Some pretty flowers. And then look how, they're a good size. And uh, there's, aren't they pretty? Won't they make pretty bead, bead tops for my tassels? And you can see all the colors. There's like an orangey, pink, blue, yellow. So won't those be fun? I can't wait to use those. And then the other, let's see. I'll go ahead and show you. Let's see, I'm on page two, I think. Nope, let me see. Oh, I think I, bronze bead spacers. Let me find those. Bronze bead spacers. Okay, I think the beads, all the bead spacers are in here. So, see, I still have a lot. To, look at all this. <laughs> I mean, I'm telling you, I went on a shopping spree. <laughs> it was so fun. Uh, let's see. So, these are, oh, these look like all the bead spacers. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Look how awesome. Let's see. All right, let me see, see which one I'm going to show. Oh, these are some more. Oh, these are, okay, hold on. <laughs> All right, these are definitely bronze bead spacers. And this one is, uh, is this 50? That's what my little list says. Is this the 50 pack? Yes, this is the 50 pack. Look at how, look, it's a little, it's a little thing, but there's 50 in there because they're such small pieces, right? And they're all in these nice little Ziploc bags. I've been thinking since I made this order, what I'm going, how I'm going to organize these. And I think I'm going to, because I have a drawer that I keep all my beads in and things like this, you know, little things, beads and pieces like this. I think I'm going to get a little hanger on, you know, those little hangers with a different like pockets that you hang on the back of a door. I think I'm going to get something like that. And I look and look through the clear pockets and see like, oh, there's my bead spacers. There's my flower beads. There's my, um, you know, lobster claw clasp because I just, my drawer is full and I need somewhere more to organize them. But anyway, these are awesome for putting in between beads. They just add an extra special touch and I didn't have any bronze when I, bronze colored ones, I only had silver. So now I have these pretty little beads and I, you know, you're, you, they look like little flowers. These they have, if you can see um, the texture there, they, um, if you've never used them and you've just used beads, uh, I would highly advise just trying at least one type of bead spacer because you'll be surprised at the special touch it really does add to your whatever you're making, earrings, uh, 
tassel top, be, you know, beaded tassel tops, anything like that, bead dangles even. It just adds something extra special. It really does. I was surprised the first time I used them too. I was like, oh my goodness, that is so pretty. <laughs> you know what I mean? So uh, let's see, what else did I take out of that bag? Let's see what these are. Oh, I think these are jump rings. I didn't have any bronze jump rings. I had only silver. So I was really on the, um, when I got a chance to order from end beads, I said, oh, this is the chain. I think I did order some, some bronze jump rings. I'm not sure. Oh, this is a really pretty. Oh goodness. Wow. This is cool. Oh, oh wow. This is exactly what I wanted. I'm so happy. It's perfect. This is a chain. As you can know, as you know, in our paper crafting and our bead dangle making and tassel making, we use chain in a lot of our crafts. And this has nice, that's what I wanted. See these nice big holes? I wanted to be able to, uh, you know, have these nice big holes to fit whatever I wanted to fit through there. Uh, you know, a bulb pin, you know, make charms and, and things like that with this or or be dangles and just have plenty of chain and, and the hole be big enough to fit what I wanted to fit through there, but not too big, you know? So that's what I'm saying. This is absolutely perfect. And it feels really nice. It's bronze. It feels it's flat. Can you see that? It's like flat right here. I guess, let me hold it right here. My, I don't know if that'll help or not, but see how it's flat? It's not real chunky. So very nice. I love that. Wow, I've never seen a chain like that. That's so cool. Okay, so that's the bronze chain. And I'm just showing the three that things that were in that one bag. They put those three small parts in that one bag. This is some uh, bead caps. Uh, bead caps, or they actually also call them sometimes on end beads, tassel tops. So these are tassel tops or bead caps. And these are the ones that fit down over, you know, the ones that have a big space here on the bottom. And they fit down over your your bee, your uh, tassel top. And that's what I had in mind for these. These are smaller ones, but they are very beautiful. They are silver. And they're, uh, what did they call them? They had, oh, antique, antique silver is what they call them. And they have like this very um, beautiful texture and pattern on them. I hope you can see that. Let me hold it up a little bit more. Maybe on the plate you can see it too. Aren't they cute? <laughs> so those are be really pretty. There are um, 20 in here. Is that right? 20. Nope, there's 10 in here. This is not the this is not the 20 back pack. This is the 10 pack. But uh, 10 tassels. If I use them all for tassels, that's 10 tassels. That's a lot of tassels, right? Okay. Let's see what else do I have to sh show you. I show those are the silver. Let me show you, uh, oh yeah, these, I really want to see what these look like because I picked these out and I thought these look so cute and they'd be fun to use uh, everywhere in my crafting. Uh, you could use them on the top of a tassel. You could use them as a charm hanging from the side of a page. You could use them to, in so many places. So these are called, okay, yeah, there's two bags in this little bag. These are called antiques, let me see, where am I? These are called bronze glass heart cabochon keys so you've got the key these little bronze keys and they're a good size i see you know um as far as making a little charm to hang off a page or off a tassel or a tag or anything like that but you've got this little key here see that it's not too big and not too you know i don't think you can have too small because keys are just awesome i love the keys no matter what size i use all different size keys in my crafting but then they have this little glass part so you can put something here a little picture or you know a letter a number whatever you want there glue it down and then you put one of these glass pieces on top and they are glass and you have covered your and you just glue this down too I've seen lots of people do this with some you know glue that dries clear like art glitter glue or something like that or some people use other glues to glue onto metal, you know, E6000 or whatever, but you have this little cute little key with a special little picture and the glass covering it. Isn't that going to be fun to work with? So I can't wait to use that. I've never uh, actually used anything like this before. So 
I can't wait to use those. Doesn't that look like fun? Okay, what else? I had some, let's see where, oh, oh, that was the bag that those two were in, two were in. I had, let me see. Okay, this is what the, that's what this is, I think. Let me see what's in here. It's on a spool. This is on a spool, so let me see if this is what I think it is. All right, yeah, it is a chain. It's in plastic. I don't know if I can get this off on video. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it's just a thin little cellophane. Okay, yeah, I can get this off quick. All right, so we've got this spool wrapped in plastic that protect for protection and keeping it all together here in shipping. Okay, yeah, wrapped around like that. It's like, um, yeah, saran wrap type of thing. Okay, so that's what this is. Wow, this is cool too. This is a, it was a, it's a ball chain. So that, yeah, I, I don't have any, <clears throat> any uh, ball chain that's bronze. I just had silver ball, ball chains. So this is, a, this is, these are little balls. <laughs> See how small they are? But this will be fun. You can just use these in so many things and uh, to hang things or, you know, things like that. So very cool. I can see some of those little chain extenders hanging from here as a decoration on here. And uh, you could even use these in your tassel to have extra special kind of bronze. Wouldn't that be pretty in a tassel to hang that? Can you see that amongst the uh, fibers and the, and the fabrics, things like that, that we use in our tassels? That would actually be pretty. And there is a ton on here. Let me see if I can figure out how much is on here real quick. Ten. Let me see what the bag, where's the bag? 10, let me see, here's my list. Let me look at my list real quick. Ball chain, 10 something. I think it's probably 10 yards. Yeah, I think it's 10 yards. I have it on my list right here, my packing list. So yeah, that's a lot of, <laughs> that's a lot of ball chain. And that will be fun to use too. I can't wait. Okay, now. On to the next thing. Oh, that was in this bag. Okay. That was in that bag. Okay. Now I found my bags and that, that other three. Okay. That bag I opened. All right. Let's see. Let's, we got to get through this. So we got to get moving here. Let's see. So I, like I said, I wanted to make some earrings and these are, I actually had bought some silver earring hook, you know, the little hooks that you can make earrings that dangle down. So you know what these are. These are the bronze ones. And I'll show you just one here. See, it's just those little hooks that you can hang earrings from. So, uh, and you never know what. You can repurpose these and use them for other things, maybe bead dangles and things too. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what I might come up with it for other purposes because there's a lot in here. There is, let's see if I can see, 100, and, 100 pieces. So that's 50 earrings <laughs> pairs, right? So um, let's see, what else do I have here? Oh, these are cute. These are really cute. I can't wait to see what these look like in person. And I just made the coffee journal. So I kind of ordered these in, with that in mind, my coffee journal that I just did the video on the other day, two days ago. So I still have it here. I haven't shipped it out yet. It's going out tomorrow. But, oh, these are so tiny. But they're so cute. But these are little, um, I think they call them pendants, but you kind of probably like glue them down. So I might go back and before I wrap it up and glue a couple of these little coffee cups on somewhere or just put them in uh, in uh, uh, the goodie bag for my friend. But they are little coffee cups like uh, almost like Starbucks, you know, that kind of type of coffee cup. So like the paper coffee cup type of thing. So they're small, but they're super cute. And there's uh, 10 in there. So I thought those would be fun. Aren't they cute? And then here's the other... I was going to make a charm out of this, so I'm glad it didn't go out the door yet because I can add this to that journal too, uh, or to the goodie bag. But these are a little, look at this, a little coffee cup cafe. And it's got a little heart like a, what is that, a cappuccino that they do that little heart on? I don't, I don't, I've never ordered one, but <laughs> so cute, right? Cafe. <laughs> and there's a bunch of those in here. 10 pieces. Won't those be fun? And of course, you can hang them from the little, the little um, handle. So adorable. Okay, let's see what these are. 
Oh, these are little bead caps, bronze bead caps. Yeah, these um, will put more space in between because they're, you know, the other ones, the little flowers, they were kind of flat. These are rounded little pieces, and these do add a lot of special, make your, your beads really special too with this little bit of bronze in between whatever you're working on. So yeah, that's why I got those. Super fun and cute and pretty to, your, you know, to add to your project. So those. All right, we're almost done, guys. Let me show you these flowers real quick. Uh, just these little, oh, are these flowers or butterflies? Oh, these must be the butterflies. Okay, so these are the same thing like the flowers. They have the hole, I believe, through the top here. And uh, just, you can kind of see it there, but it's a little butterfly. And they're in different colors, and I thought these would be also fun for the top of my beaded tassel be the tassel top or you can even make earrings or you know put those in any type of jewelry project or make a little charm be you know be dangle type things for the side of your page of your your journals and things like that so that's why I got those and then these I these looked really beautiful and let me don't take too many out because then you won't be able to see what's what here but these are these are I got these for tassel toppers. Look how beautiful this is. It, the tassel, you know, it would go right up in here, all your fibers or whatever, and you have your little something coming out the top like a um, a pin, you know, the eye pin, where you add your lobster claw clasp or your bees and then your lobster claw clasp. But won't that be beautiful? It's very filigree. So won't that be beautiful on the top, on the top of a tassel? And let me show you down here. I don't know if I, you can see it really well, but really beautiful. I love them. And there are, there's quite a few in here, 10 pieces. So 10 tassels, another 10 tassels using those. And I might not be able to open this right now, but this is, let me see. Yeah, I love this little container. And I have the silver ones in a container like this. So now I have some bronze. And you get all different sizes of your... These are my bronze jump rings. So like they start with small and then go bigger, 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 bigger over here to the biggest size. I believe the biggest size is right here possibly. And they just open. And it's just a nice little container to keep in your bead drawer or wherever you keep your beads. And all you have to do is make sure you close it tight. <laughs> you know when you put it away but they're just the little jump rings just the little jump rings that i can use in all my crafts so those would be fun i love the silver ones and all the different sizes and this will be awesome now that i have them in the bronze oh you can see them better down there see all the different and there's so many in there there's so many i can't even tell you how many are in there let me see i don't know where they are on my list i kind of lost my way i just went started going through stuff but anyway, you get the picture. There's a zillion in there, probably. <laughs> oh, maybe it tells on the package. One box. No, it doesn't tell how many are in there. Because there's different sizes. You know what I mean? Different sizes. So you have, like, whatever. Say there's... I'm going to guess there's... There could be 50 in each one. Like, there's so many in the little one. And probably less in the bigger one. But uh, you get the picture. Hope you enjoyed the unboxing. Check out their website because I think you'll be surprised at how much you can get for your money. I, I was. I know I was. I was like, because they gave me, uh, you know, when you do, when I do something like this, they give you a certain amount you can spend, right? Because I got all these, you know, they wanted me to demonstrate these, so I got them for free. But they tell me how much I can spend, right? And so I was like, oh my goodness, I am getting all this for that little bit of money. You know what I mean? If I was actually spending money. It was, I was just amazed. So you, you should actually, you know, even if you don't need anything, just check it out and, um, you know, for, for the future. And if you do need something, make sure you use my coupon code down below. And I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at this website and all that they have to offer. So thank you for watching today. Stay tuned for my projects. I'll have one in the next two weeks. I'll have one each week. So I can't wait uh, to use all of these projects. So Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Happy crafting.